Okay, in this video, we are gonna solve this problem. So we have a particle that moves along the x-axis. The velocity of the particle at time t is given by v of t, which is five over cosine cubed of t plus three. Um, if the position of the particle is x equals five when t is equal to three, what is the position of the particle when t is equal to six? So this is the problem that we wanna solve. Um, it seems sort of straightforward, so there's uh, immediately, I think, the relationship between velocity and position is that velocity is the derivative of position. So um, if I can integrate velocity, I should be able to get back to position. There's kind of an issue here, though, because v of t, if we try to integrate it by itself, um, which I'm going to try to do here, so if I just do, uh, so let's see, go, uh, let's go shift and then plus here. So shift plus is actually a shortcut to get to the antiderivative template. I'm not gonna fill in these, they're optional right now. I'm just gonna see if I can integrate this. So five cosine of t cubed plus three with respect to t. I'm gonna press enter. And you can see what happens here. First of all, I'm in a notes page, so I'm not on a calculator page, so it looks a little different from normal. Um, you could just do this in the calculator page though, no issue with that. Um, you can see what the calculator did was it tried to evaluate it, it couldn't, so it just returns basically the original integral, it factors out the five. Um, so that'll happen a lot, especially on calculator problems. So instead, um, I'm gonna have to use the fundamental theorem, I think. So remember, this problem doesn't say find an antiderivative and use it, it just says find position. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna end up using the fundamental theorem of calculus. So I had to write it funny because the font is a little weird on the Inspire. So I'm saying if g of x is the derivative of f of x, so it's really uh, g of x is f prime of x, then the integral from a to b of g of x, which is really f prime, is f of b minus f of a. So that's the fundamental theorem, but you can rearrange it. So in particular, I could um, add f of a to both sides, and that's what I'm actually gonna do. So I'm gonna use it in this form. So I'm gonna say f of b, so where we end up is f of a plus the integral from a to b of g of x dx. So it's where you are plus your displacement. So we're gonna use this to solve the problem. So let's go back to that first page and see if we can do it. To move between the pages, you can do uh, control and then to the right or control and then to the left, depending on which way you wanna go. Okay, so here we are. Um, so what I wanna do is I know that when t is equal to three, um, x is equal to five. So that's kind of where I'm starting. So I'm gonna do, uh, let me define the function. So v of t and then colon equals, go five over cosine of t cubed plus three. Press enter, it says done, that's good. And then what I wanna do is where I start, so that's gonna be um, the position at three, so five plus, and then integral, I'm gonna use the um, shortcut, so it's shift and then plus, and it's the integral from three to six, because I know where I am at three, that's I'm at x equals five at three, and then I wanna know where I am at six, so I need to find the displacement from three to six of v of t, and that's with respect to t. I'm gonna hit um, enter, and it's gonna just give me a decimal because it actually can't find an exact value because it can't find an antiderivative. So my position at t equals six is 10.4286, which is where I was at t equals three, plus the displacement from three to six of v of t dt, and that's how we can do the problem. So this is a really good example of using the fundamental theorem um, with a velocity function to find your position at a particular time. Always be on the lookout for things that you can't actually find an antiderivative for, because they're just testing to see if you know how to use your calculator and the fundamental theorem at that point. Um, all right, so that's it. I hope you found this helpful and good luck.